welcome to the Not Old, Better podcast. It's time for this week's featured guest on the Not Old, Better podcast. Not long ago, the Smithsonian Institute began assembling artifacts that will help tell the 400-year story of African Americans and their lives here in the United States. Director Lonnie Bunch, the National Museum of African American History and Culture, involved from the start collecting thousands of artifacts. We have started with zero objects. We've now collected nearly 25,000 artifacts from all over the country. Ground was broken for the museum in 2012, and the grand opening, scheduled for September 24, 2016, is right on track. And workers have put final touches in place for the building that sits on the National Mall. Meanwhile, Michelle Gates Morrissey and other curators have assembled artifacts that reflect periods of African American history. The museum acquired almost 40 items belonging to Harriet Tubman. In the mid-1800s, she helped hundreds of African American slaves reach freedom in the North through the secret route known as the Underground Railroad. The museum also received a shawl that was once given to Tubman. The shawl that was given to her by Queen Victoria, who had invited her to come to the Queen's Jubilee, which she had declined, but she had given her the shawl as a, a recognition of, of who she was and what she had accomplished. These slave shackles make the horrors of slavery real. Director Lonnie Bunch says these painful chapters of the history of slave life that we must will tell be told. a story that, on the one hand, will make you angry about what happened to people. But on the other hand, it'll inspire you about the ability of America to perfect itself, to right or wrong. African Americans in film, music, and dance will also be a permanent exhibit. Curator Dondalyn Reese located items from the late actress and singer Lena Horne. She was the first black performer who was signed with a major Hollywood studio. Reese says the arts have been a path out of oppression for many African Americans. Particularly in the arts and entertainment and sports, it's been that agency to kind of get out of uh, uh, poverty or circumstances and make your way in the world. As the museum opens this weekend, it will give more visitors moments like the ones I experienced earlier today when dancer Lauren Anderson and her historic ballet toe shoes were enshrined in the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Now that the museum is open, please visit and download the NMAAHC mobile app as a complement to your on-site museum experience at iTunes and Google Play. You can visit the website as nmaahc.si. Edu.